Okay, so now we're going to look at some of the little bit more involved data types in Python. So pretty much everything we looked at already were just like single values. So a single string, a single number, um, a boolean, true or false. So what if you want to be able to store or manipulate or use a series of values, a series of strings, a mix of values and strings, a series of booleans, whatever. Well, that's where list objects come into play. Lists are used a lot in Python, and they can be extended uh, for other uses using other packages and whatnot. So to create a list in Python, you basically set up a, you use square brackets. So square brackets indicate that you're creating a list object. So um, you see all these have square brackets. These are no, all numbers that aren't in quotes. So here you're making a list of numeric values. Here you're making a list of strings. And here we're making a list of Booleans because again, they're title case and they're not quoted. Um, just some notes on indexing. Indexing for lists works similar to indexing for, uh, st for strings or characters, except that in this case, you're not looking at the, the position of a single character, but the position of the object within the series of, of elements in the list, right? Um, so let's just print this result and we'll look at why this happened. So run here. Okay, so, um, the first one here is print at index zero. So again, just like with characters and across Python, indexing starts at zero. So that means that um, it just returns the first element, six. Here we're doing uh, zero through three. So zero, one, and two are returned. Remember three is not returned. So that's six, seven, and eight. So the last, uh, the last index there is not included. And here's an example where we're counting from the end. So you're basically going from negative 4 up to negative 1. So let's see if that makes sense. So that's this result. So we get back um, D and E. So remember, so this is negative, uh, so this is negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, right? Um, and then in this case, since we're doing uh, indexing backwards, then you were not including the, the negative four. Okay, and then again, you can also have open and close colons, right? So this will do everything up to, but not including what's at index three. So it should be zero, one, two. So that returns um, ABC and then, um, and then D and E, which in this case is three onward. So zero, one, two, so three, four. And again, these are just printing out uh, the, the types there. Oh, yeah, so um, if you want to get, so this is a little confusing maybe. Let me add another uh, block down here. So let's say that we want to get back um, the type of a list. So if we do um, type of list one, oops, don't have that element or the I in there then that spits back that it's a type list. So it doesn't actually tell you the type of the elements within the list, it tells you the type of the list itself, which is list. If you call a certain element in a list, like two here, then it'll tell you the type of the element in the list. So that's an integer, right? Um, note that in list, which is what this second set here is showing, is that all the elements don't have to be of the same type. So you can have lists uh, that include mixes of numbers and characters and booleans, as we have here. And here I'm printing out the different types. So again, let me just run that. So you can see, you know, um, so list four at index zero, which is one, is an integer. At index two, which is a, is a string. And then it index four, so that the end there, and that's a boolean. So you can have mix mix of things. You can even have lists within lists, right? So you could have something like I'm just going to call this list five, and we'll do is equal to um, let's do one, two, b, true, and then list two, list one, one, and then we're going to print back. Um, we'll print back here the uh, the list, so list five. All right, so here we can see that this list 
element. Sorry, I have all this other stuff printing still. But it's so here's the content of that list. So the number one, the number two, the character B, the bu Boolean true. Then we have this list, which is list two as defined here. And then list one as defined here and then ending in the value one. So you're gonna have lists within lists as, so a list can be an element within a list. So um, if I did something like, uh, let's see here, we'll do uh, print, print type of uh, list five element, and then we wanna do, let's do one of the lists, so zero, one, two, three, four, four. Then that should spit back. Oops, what did I do? Oh, I forgot a parenthesis. It tells us that it's a list, so it's a it's a list element within a list. Okay. Um, yeah, I think I yeah, see. I think that's all. Makes sense. This is just looking at indexing. Here's some examples of working with lists um, in terms of like using methods. So the dot append is adds an element to a list. Remember lists are mutable. So that means that you can change them. So here we're adding an element. Here we're using the dot remove to remove an element. Um, yeah, and here you're, this insert adds it at a specific position in the list. And then this uh, remove item at specified index or at the last item if no index is provided. So let's just look at all those and see what, what the results are. So this first one, we created a list one, then we appended F to it. So you can see there's F there. Then I went through and I removed F. So now it's gone. Then I added the word add at after position two. So, or sorry, at position two. So zero, one, two. And then I remove the element at position two. So zero, one, two, add's now gone. So those are examples of methods that you can apply to lists. Again, we, I talked about this above. I think this is important. So um, lists are mutable objects, which means if you set a list equal to another list, then you're simply referencing the same data in memory. You're not making a copy of that data to another location in memory. So in this example, we have list one, and then I set list two equal to list one, which means that they're just referencing, again, the same data in memory. In contrast, here I'm making a copy of list one, as opposed to um, as opposed to just you know referencing it. So now let me just run this experiment here. So this is our original list. Um, actually, let me see here. This is list two, so it's equal to list one. This is list three, which is also equal to list one. But then when I make a change to list one, that is reflected in list two here because it's just referencing the same object in memory, but it's not made to list three, so the F wasn't added to list three, because it was a copy as opposed to just referencing the same object. So again, that's something th um, that you have to understand in Python. If not, you can get yourself into some trouble sometimes, or you think you made a copy, and then you're actually manipulating data that you didn't want to manipulate. Um, this is an example of adding lists together. So let's see what this does. So here we have two lists, um, A, B, C, and then the second list, D, E, F. And if we add those together, it just adds the elements in. So now we have a new list with six elements as opposed from the two original lists with three elements. Um, you can also do the same thing with the extend here, but that does it in place. So instead of creating a new list, list three, I just I, I extend list one by adding list two to it, and that doesn't create a new variable, the list three variable. Okay, um, yeah, so let's have a look at this. So this is kind of interesting. So now, instead of, do, of adding those two lists together, I just add, I, I have list one be an element inside of list two. And here, the result is different. So instead of having six elements I have four I have four elements so the three characters and then this entire list is an element within the other list so again it's a list within a list um, we're not going to talk too much about tuples right now but basically tuples are like lists but they're not mutable which means that they can't change you can't like append or pop or remove items from a tuple 
I think of tuples as lists that again are 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 designed so that they cannot be manipulated, so they're protected from manipulation. If you do need to manipulate a tuple, then you can convert it into a list using the list function. If you want to convert a list into a tuple, then you can use the the, the tuple function. Um, and tuples in Python are defined using uh, using parentheses. So a series of values in parentheses is a tuple. If we would swap this out with brackets, then it would be a list, right? And you can see that the type here is tuple.